something like that. I ain't got millions and millions of dollars. So. What the? Hold on. Hold on. Oh, that's good, everybody. It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Dima. Oh, the couple of music. Man, my boy is having a rough time over on Instagram. And that's my partner, Nico Valley. Man, he came through and showed me some love in the last video I did. Check him out. He's here on YouTube and he's on Instagram. And I swear to God, man, like besides Kevin Samuels, he has the most lit live shows on Instagram. And he does a lot of relationship topics. My boy's out the D. And like you saw this at the beginning clip of this chick. She had to be at least four to five hundred pounds, right? And um she came on there like Harlem shaking, like I don't know what was going on, and but, but, you know I don't know if she's on some drugs or whatever, but like she was really just like doing these little retarded little silly little dances out there. Um, I, I really don't know what she was about, but she she was coherent enough after he kind of calmed her down to ask her the topic question, and the question that he asked was, should people get married within a year, um, or is that too soon, right? So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna play uh, the clip, um, and this is courtesy of Brother Nico Velli, Instagram. I'm gonna play the clip and let you see and hear the, their interaction, and we'll come back and talk about it. Something like that, I ain't got millions and millions of followers. What the? Hold on, hold on, man. Hold on, give me a second. Give me a second. What is going on? Give me a second. Can you hear me? Yeah. How you doing? Good. Yeah. Um, you kind of blurry. I don't know. Wait. Okay, there you go. <clears throat> so should people get married within a year? What you think? No. You said not no. Really. Why not? not really. Why not? Tell me why not. It ain't. It ain't. It ain't them many guys out here for that. It ain't enough guys out here for that. No. Well, we, we women do it. Are, it are it is more women than uh, men. So I agree with you there. But why 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 shouldn't you get married within a year? Because ain't no good men out here. Ain't no good men out here. Mm -mm. Maybe the men you dealing with ain't good, but it's some good men out here. It's some I good know. men. That's like me saying, ain't no good women out here. It's some good women out here. Sometimes it's good women out here. Sometimes it's so not. So are you, are you in a relationship? No. Can you stop moving around? Like, I want to talk to you. You need to be still or something. Like, okay, they, like, focus. So you're not in a relationship? No. So you're just calling in for what? To get to know people, you know. Get to know what? Know who? guys and you know you know what <laughs> okay cool you mean, cool. Lord Jesus do somebody want to talk to series I ain't got time for that that that's ridiculous like God come on now Man, what? You see her? You see her? Like, ain't no good guys out here. Look, I know I ain't trying to get people mad at me today, though. She looked like, what's that What's that dude off Adam's family? Uncle Fester. Uncle Fester and the Gremlin had a fucking baby, and that, that's what they produced. I don't know. God. Let me see. Somebody else, y'all. Somebody who got some damn sense. Please, somebody who got some damn sense. Okay, so you, you, you heard what was going on there. <laughs> and as funny as the shit is, we're able to deduce besides all of the, you know, the just trolling and I mean, I think she just, you know, owns something, but she's coherent enough to understand that there are no good men out here. Okay. 
and I want to talk about that because when you talk to women and some women to keep it real, right? We do got a lot of good sisters out there that to keep it real and be like, you know, there's good men and there's bad men. There are a lot of women that are in, that are in the middle, but then you do have a lot of women who are not in the middle and it ain't no good men out here. Okay. Now you see what he said. Well, what about the, the men that you are choosing are not good men, right? And, and the thing about it is, is when you talk about that, they don't want to say anything. And you see how she came on there dancing, you know, you know, it was kind of struggle in the background, struggle refrigerator. You know, you know, she was smelling like collard green juice. And, and you know, like what, what good man for the most part is going to be out there trying to talk to somebody that is acting like her. Okay. You know, and it goes back to what about the men that you're choosing? Because what did he say? It's some good men out here. It gotta be good women out here, right? But what about the ones that you were choosing? And then she was like, "Day music? Ah, oh, no, nah, ain't no good men out here at all." That sound like the all right, dude. Put up the little six hundred pound chick, right? That sound like like put them top of the show. Put them like side to side, all right? Just you know, both of them. You 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 see both of them, right? Both of them. You see what they look like. You see the attitude. You see the problem. All right. And it's not even, I know how some of y'all think like the, the, the nerve of them looking like that to be talking about somebody else. I mean, whatever, let's forget about the looks. Look at the attitude that all these guys ain't about nothing. And these guys need to do something for me, even though I'm not doing nothing for nobody else. That's the attitude. And what are we seeing? We see it on Kevin Samuel show. Like a uh, like a Dr. T. S. Johnson said, you see it, call after call after call after call. Now you see another guy, Nico Velli. Don't know Kevin Samuels. Could be in, could could have been inspired by him. He doing his own thing. What do you see on Instagram lives? Every time he posts, for the most part, person after person after person after person saying the same thing, and it's so delusional that he's seeing like, you don't even make sense. And I think these Instagram live sessions are good because I don't think I can do it. I might do it, but you already know me, stop the show. You already know I'm gonna go ham. If I get on Instagram, I'm gonna go ham. So I don't think y'all want me to get on there. But what what are you seeing? You're seeing so many times that a lot of these ladies, they don't really, uh, uh, they, like they, they, they're not really bringing nothing to the table, nor do they feel like they should. And then they're coming out with the motive that, well, these guys ain't about nothing to make themselves feel better. Well, that can't be true. How can they be not about nothing when you're the ones that's choosing to deal with the dudes? So if the if, if these guys ain't about nothing, what does that say about the dudes that you mess with? What does that say about you? See, this is what a lot of ladies try to do. They try to separate for the fact that, okay, well, I'm somebody, the guys that I mess with, they ain't about nothing, but that don't make me a problem. I'm still about something regardless if I mess with nothing, a bunch of guys that ain't doing shit. See, this is how they try to play us. They want to act like they somebody, okay? They coming now off Mount Olympus to mess with these guys who ain't about nothing, but that don't make them less than nothing for all them do, you know, for all their dealings with guys who ain't shit, right? So they try to separate that, but you are the company that you keep, okay? And they don't want to admit that you cannot be a high value lady. All you mess with is trash dudes. How can that be you? But you don't want to talk about that. You don't want to consider that. And when you put it in their face, it's always a, you know, let, let me talk about something else or whatever. So I'm glad that, you know, you got brothers like brother Nico uh, bringing that out, a whole bunch of other stuff. But guys, y'all see that dance that she did. Demon, put the dance up again, that first beginning dance. That was crazy. What is that? There wasn't no music in the background. She wouldn't even stop moving around. Like who want to put up with somebody like that? Just, just ashy for no reason. Just, just, you know, and just, just, just a, a whole bunch of dustiness in their family. Just dusty. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Dude Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of Celebrity Drunk. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe at the bell. Check out the first company to the top. And as you know, the buffoon remains at an all-time high. I'm out.